Well, it has probably defined my time here and it's exceeded my expectations. I've been surprised at how many people say Dr. Todd's top 20 goal. <clears throat> well, it wasn't. I inherited that goal. Uh, Paul Patton and the legislature put it on the table. I didn't start the job thinking about writing a top 20 business plan. However, when I got in the job and began to say something about top 20 around campus, I'd get a lot of eye rolling, you know, like, yeah, fat chance, no way, you know, why they do that? That was 1997. It just, there was nobody saying, yes, we've got to do that. <clears throat> I've always had the feeling that you can't push people to a goal that they can't achieve. And I didn't know, one, what the goal was or whether it, whether it was even possible to achieve it. When I raised money for my company, anytime I had to raise money, I had to write a business plan because it helped me as much as anybody clarify my thoughts, all right, if I had the money, this is what I would do. And this is how I could tell my investors they would benefit from that. I felt that it had to be a document that was outward facing. And it really was a shape of a business plan because we were going to have to take it to the legislature and say, this is what you asked us to do. This is how we've defined it. This is what we need. So that's what the business plan really is. It's a document that had a lot of faculty input and staff input to lay out the goals. We only measure four categories, student quality, faculty quality, graduate quality, and research. And we committed to, to covering 40% of the cost of that plan ourselves. And that made the numbers approach and so that's when we finally finished it and said, all right, here it goes. Looks like we could do it if we had this kind of funding. Let's go sell it. At first, it got some lukewarm reception from folks. However, our public relations folks thought of a great way to expose that plan to the state. We went around the state of 22 cities, I think. We went with legislators and alumni and everybody we could meet with. Started building some energy behind it. The legislature approved that and gave us a significant increase in funding. The Chronicle in Higher Education wrote a front page story because of the novelty of it. New York Times had an article. People began to believe now that maybe we got a shot at this. We're not there yet and it's, uh, we've had far different budget situations than we thought we would. Well, when we got the funding of $23 million uh, from the legislature, we were able to create 60 new positions and it really created um, an energy on campus. The people on campus were so pleased because now we're beginning to give them resources to achieve this mighty goal. What happened when we started getting cuts is that given some of the internal reallocations we had done and some cost cutting, we were able to weather some of that. We haven't had to have furloughs. We haven't had major layoffs um, like a lot of our peer institutions have done. But we haven't given raises, given raises for quite a while, and that really hurts. So the disappointment is that we haven't been able to provide these people with the resources that they deserve. Uh, I think they've made some remarkable strides dealing with what they've had to deal with. It, no doubt, will have moved our timeline out some, I have to believe. That's probably the, the impact. But we can't take our eyes off of that goal, and we've got to still strive for it. I feel sure that had we not done that, we wouldn't be where we are today. I'm not sure I would have changed any other measures in the plan. We had to look at student quality first because we cannot neglect our undergraduate program. We had to look at the faculty quality because that's what gets you those top students and gets your recognition. We had to look at the graduate quality and we also then had to look at research. My fear was that people would just look at research dollars. And there are institutions in states now, there are land-grant institutions, that are just focused on bringing in research dollars to move their numbers up and become competitive. and they're not really worried about the state. And we actually put research dollars as a fourth item we were measuring just to say that's not the most important thing. We're gonna measure it, but it's not the most important thing. We gotta change you know, the state. I think I'm most proud of the fact that I, I really think the top 20 plan changed the culture of the institution. I've been amazed at the attitude change that it brought about. And I think it was one of the prime drivers behind kind of a cultural change of we can compete, and it's been a magnet for helping us recruit some of our very best people. It will be interesting to see what happens uh, after I retire to this uh, top 20 plan. Uh, I'm not sure you ever get anybody who comes in wanting to do exactly what the previous person did. However, I think it's ingrained to, to a point that it, it will survive. We have built a foundation for it. We may not be numerically where we want to be in some of these categories, but we've 
we're really well positioned to um, really increase our graduation rate, which is a measure. We're on our way toward that. It'll take a few years to, to get there. Research has continued to expand. I'm extremely proud of the quality of this student body. This past year, we went up a full, you know, half a point in our ACT average. So I, I think that just uh, by the nature of the quality of the people that we have here, both students and faculty and staff, is, is going to continue to have a push to move up in the rankings and do the things that will help us do that. When I prepared for my interviews for the job, um, I want to make sure I made the point that if this institution doesn't change the state, it doesn't make any difference if it's top 20 or not. And we really need to look at some of these long-term problems that we've had. And so <clears throat> I was truthful in saying that um, uh, that if we change the state, then I'll feel good about that. And uh, I do.